So I bought this shirt the other day and apparently it's an extra small fashion. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Tea Leaf Nika. So I have a really interesting video for today and when I say interesting, I mean sassy. The other day I was scrolling around Tiffany's, you know the high-end jewelry site? I found a section on Tiffany's that really just pissed me off. So in that section, they basically sell sterling silver versions of trash. That's what it is. Uh, it's just trash. It's literal trash, but it's so expensive. And like just the name everyday objects just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It's like some elite billionaire going off the website and they're like, oh Charles, come over here and look at this website. It's got all the knickknacks that the peasants have. So if you're like me and you've come across this portion of the website and you've thought to yourself, I can DIY that, but I'm not going to because I have a life and I'm too busy for that. Well, no worries. I did it for us. So I went through this page and picked out my favorite things and I'm going to put them from least expensive to most expensive. And so we're going to start off with the terracotta flower pots, which come in at a whopping $100. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby. Yeah. I understand it's America and you can choose to spend your money on whatever you want to, but I can also choose to judge you for it, okay? A hundred dollars for a flower pot? Get the f out of here. I'm actually trying to preserve this because I actually did work very hard on it. Next we have the sterling silver golf tee which retails at $180. Why do rich people put beautiful things into dirt? Okay, what's the point? <laughs> present to you the silver golf tee. The difference between this and the Tiffany's one is that the Tiffany's one is not only a lot more expensive, but it's probably going to be a little bit heavier, but that doesn't, like, how much can that really help your golfing, okay? How much can that really help that golf swing, okay? A $300 tee isn't going to make you a good golfer, all right? Just get the Okay, sorry, I need to- I'm so angry at how stupid this is, okay? Like I said, you can buy whatever you want to, it's your money, whatever. I spend my money on weird stuff. Um, I have a Legend of Zelda Master Sword letter opener. Uh, granted, it's not $300, but I, I understand buying novelty stuff, I get it. Oh, guys, it is only gonna get more ridiculous from here. Next, we have the Sterling Silver Trash. Oh. My bad, I meant the sterling silver tin can, which retails at $1,025. Oh, Charles, look over here, it's a tin can. Oh, how beautiful would that look in our summer cottage, Charles? Charles! Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. So here is the tin can! It's a tin can! I spray painted it, but it's a tin can. This is gonna go straight in the garbage. <laughs> I mean recycling, right? Next up on deck we have the sterling silver ball of yarn. That retails for $9,270. Ball of yarn! Sterling silver ball of yarn! Are you kidding me right now? A handcrafted sterling silver ball of yarn pays tribute to the Tiffany legacy of designing fine silver goods. A ball of yarn crafted by Tiffany artisans in New York is reimagined in hand-spun strands of textured silver sterling silver rendered the ordinary extraordinary boom so this is my sterling silver ball of yarn okay as you can tell it didn't come out the best out of all the other diys but the great one about this is that it's actually useful because i could just rip apart the spray paint and actually use the string again as its intended purpose come on it's nine thousand dollars okay okay i'm not i'm not gonna throw it
I'm just gonna put this away now. All right, guys, are you ready for the grand finale? Woven from delicate strands of sterling silver and housing three custom Tiffany blue porcelain eggs, this design transforms an ordinary object into an extraordinary sterling silver piece. So we have, boom, the bird's nest. Okay, it's a little small. Um, when I ordered it off Amazon, I didn't realize it would be a this small, but I think it turned out so cool. I'm gonna try to find an even bigger one and spray paint it gold. And that would be like such a cool Easter piece, like a little spring decor. This is actually a really cool idea. Thanks Tiffany's for the idea. I don't get it. I just really don't get it at all. And that's why I did this whole elaborate video because I just don't get it, okay? And I wanna make fun of the fact that I don't get it. There are people in this world who live on completely different levels than I could ever really dream of. So where I'm coming from is I understand using your expenses to buy tools, clothing, high quality items that you'll use in your day-to-day -day life. But to spend like $10,000 on a bird's nest and like $1,000 on a tin can, those people are just on a different planet. Like how, how detached from reality do you have to be? Like all those items together can literally send someone to college or pay off someone's student debt. I hope that if I ever end up in a situation where I could afford all of this comfortably, um, I'll put my money into more useful items. Uh, maybe it is a piece of artwork to these people and so that's why they choose to spend the money on it. If that's the reasoning, then like I can't really say anything about that, but all I can do is just like make fun of how ridiculous it is because at the end of the day, it's very ridiculous. $1,000 for a tin can. They're literally selling sterling silver trash. Anyways, that's the video. If I seem aggressive in this video, it's because I am. Like I said, I I think this is all so stupid and I'm glad we got to laugh about it together because I feel better now. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.